I am so happy to present uh, our uh, latest research uh, called SIGBART Enhanced Pre-Training via Salient Content Representation Learning for Social Media Summarization. I'm Sacha Sutude from IR Lab, Georgetown University. So before going into the details of this research work, let's first uh, motivate this problem of social media post summarization and uh, specifically the mental health post summarization, which is the focus of this work. So this figure is borrowed from a previous study in the relevant area, and it shows the number of subscribers in the Reddit, uh, Reddit sub-communities uh, associated with the mental health over the years. <clears throat> As observed, uh, there's a substantial increase in mental health discussions from 2013 to 2022. And uh, basically at the time of crisis, such as COVID-19, we see a surge in this trend, uh, which was uh, late 20, uh, 2019. Uh, as we have more users, it means that we have uh, more data coming in. And uh, this search in from engagement highlights the need for effective information processing systems. And the objective of this work is to develop a neural text summarization method for faster processing of such content, uh, which can have applications in uh, areas such as mental health monitoring. So talking about the data characteristics that we are working with in this research, uh, the uh, the task of summarization in social media is called TLDR, which stands for too long didn't read. It is basically a terminology devised by the social media users for indicating summary of a post that they have written. You see a sample of this, uh, uh, of a user post, uh, of a user written post along with its TLDR summary, which is basically extremely short summary of the user post. We also use post-TLDR alignment in this research, which is defined as identifying words or phrases within the user post that contribute to the TLDR summary. And those are highlighted in yellow in, uh, for this specific example. So we uh, asked this question, how to use these alignments in the language models pre-training process for in the hope of better performance in the fine-tuning task. Forming our hypothesis, uh, we want to validate uh, that enhanced language models pre-training on salient uh, span representations improves the model's ability to prioritize the key information in summarization task, which is a downstream task, as evidenced by the evaluation metrics. And to approach this hypothesis, we design a two-step pipeline. In the first step, we identify the salient spans by aligning the post with the TLDR summary. And in the second step, we perform the representation learning via text and filling objective of the uh, language model task. Talking more about the steps, in the first step, which is called identification of salient spans, we define a sequence tagging problem to basically label the uh, words and phrases within the user post that are repli replicated in the TLDR summary. To be more specific, a word from the post will be labeled positive or one only if it is a part of the longest subsequence in both post and TLDR summary. As an example, you see the post and TLDR here and two phrases. Uh, that are labeled as positive, and the rest of the terms or phrases within the post are labeled negative or zero. Here's the second step, which is a salient span representation learning via our language modeling task. So we have this input. With the first step, we identified the salient spans, uh, which were basically two phrases. Then we mask this spans to uh, have a mask input. This mask input is further uh, fed into a pre-trained encoder. In our research, we're using the part, but effectively it can be any kind of pre-trained language model. 
Then uh, this input is shifted uh, one to the right and is fed into the decoder for the language modeling task. Then the objective is to predict the mask tokens. And this is effectively the token in filling task that Bart also uses with this difference that Bart uses the random uh, token masking, but our system kind of reinforces an informed masking approach here, which can come in handy in the downstream summarization task. As experiments for the data sets in the pre-training stage, we're using WebCLDR 17 data set that contains over 3.8 million post TLDR instances from previous work. And for the fine tuning data set, we're using Benson data set, and, uh, and it covers over 24K mental health posts from the Reddit social media. We're also comparing the system to a, a bunch of well established state of the art systems. First one is CURSUM, which is a previous state-of-the-art approach for mental health post-summarization. We also use uh, the BART R3F model, which is a well-established state-of-the-art on social media tasks, and it discourages the representation change during the point tuning. We're also using a state-of-the-art extractive summarizer called MATCHSUM that ranks the spans of source in semantical space as the candidate summaries. Also, we use BART and Pegasus uh, systems that are robust uh, abstractive summarizers uh, for this task, as well as a social Pegasus system that uh, pre-trains uh, pre the Pegasus on the same pre-training data set that our system uses. Here is the experimental results. As you can see, our system can uh, significantly outperform all of the uh, previous baselines in terms of automatic metrics. Here for Rouge 1, for Rouge 2, Rouge L, and Berta score. So it is worth noting that these improvements are all statistically significant uh, on all metrics uh, with the p-value of uh, less than 0 0.5, 0 0.05. We also performed a human evaluation uh, on a subset of randomly sampled 50 posts from the test set with two human annotators in terms of fluency, informativeness, and faithfulness. Fluency measures the TLDR's uh, quality in terms of understandability, informativeness, uh, tries to measure if the TLDR provides useful and the bone information. Faithfulness is a TLDR, uh, uh, measures the TLDR's quality in terms of uh, supportedness of the uh, source materials. And here, uh, are our uh, re of the are the results of the human evaluations? As you can see, our system makes big gains in all uh, evaluation metrics. With the relative improvements of uh, 1.8, 6.4, and 3.4 percent uh, for the fluency, informativeness, and faithfulness metrics. And uh, the biggest improvements actually is for informativeness metric as expected because our system can efficiently and effectively learn the representations of the salient spans that are uh, being used in the summarization stage. The human uh, interactor agreements also demonstrate a moderate agreement rate, which is kind of acceptable for this task. <clears throat> Here, uh, there are some case studies shown for the user written baseline generated and SIGBAR generated. As can be seen, SIGBAR generated system, which is our system, can pick up on most important information from the uh, user post, defined in the bold. Uh, the baseline generated system produces uh, some unfaithful uh, text. And we see the same trend uh, where our system can pick up on two most important points concisely 
uh, in this in the uh, generated summary. Our system also uh, can uh, produce unfaithful unfaithful content too. Uh, so, uh, as a limitation of this work and uh, the future, uh, the, the area for the future improvement, future work can uh, focus on improving the step one, uh, not only in the exact matching space, but also in the semantic space. Uh, so, uh, since this work is in actually social media domain, we note that we adhere to ethics completely. Only anonymized data uh, were used to avoid the user identification. And also, as a limitation of the summarization system in production scale, uh, we urge the users to actually be cautious because there's a potential for misrepresenting uh, uh, representing the complex narratives. In summary, I showed that learning salient span representations via a token in filling pre training objective yields significantly improved summaries in terms of Rouge and Berta score in the mental health post summarization. Uh, these improvements were kind of backed up by human evaluations uh, that showed the system's superiority in terms of qualitative criteria, on which largest improvements were on the informativeness. And while the system can pick up on relevant information, faithfulness remains an open question for future work in underperformed cases. With that, I'm ending this presentation. Thank you for your attention.